हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू मैथवर्स मैथवर्स मींस मैथमेटिक्स एंड यूनिवर्स टुगेदर मैथवर्स नाउ इट्स बीन अ व्हाइल सिंस आई अपलोडेड माय लास्ट वीडियो बट आई हैड सम अदर एंगेजमेंट्स दैट्स व्हाई आई कुड नॉट मेक इट सो विदाउट एनी मोर डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट इट एंड लेट्स कंटिन्यू द क्रैश कोर्स नाउ टुडे व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू teach you guys is matrix multiplication and the ways to do it uh, you know what matrix multiplication is a very important topic and uh, it is really essential for all of you to understand not only from the examination view point but also from the learning view point okay so let us start without any more delay so let us take a mat two matrices like one matrix i'm taking three cross three matrices so let the matrix a be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay i'm writing the first matrix a by blue color and the second matrix b by black color okay i'll let it be 2 4 7 3 9 8 1 5 6 uh, okay these are the matrices now What we shall get as a product matrix, okay? That is, uh, I'm writing here, and that will be A into B. Clear? So A into B matrix. Uh, I'm writing a big one because lots of steps will be here. Now, you all guys know one thing that for matrix multiplication we have a uh, this type of rule. It means this into this, okay? And then this into this. I mean. row of the first matrix into the column of the second matrix this is the way of calculating matrix multiplication what happens there let me show you by a little bit demonstration what I, what we shall do here suppose two trains are running one in this matrix in this direction another in this matrix in this direction okay so it means for both of the trains let us assume that the tips of the trains of these two trains Are actually the point location of the train. Okay, so see here, both the trains are here. The first place. Okay, then. Okay, or uh, so. In this way, it actually what it means. It means while calculating the matrix multiplication, what we shall do? We shall first multiply this one into this one, then add that one will do. We the, we shall multiply these two, and then add that product with the product of these two, then the product of these two. Okay, this will finally be our first one one positions element. Okay, this is row number one. This is column number one. So row number one and column number one will give us one one position map. Element okay or one one position entry. Now row number one, column number two, we shall give us one two position entry. Row number uh, sorry, row number one, column number three, we shall give one three position entry. Okay. So now let's do it without any more delay. Now for the one one position, I'm giving one bracket here. Okay. So here are the three brackets. It means that three terms will come here, and in each of them, I am writing one multiplication sign. So, from the first one, it will come one, and from the second matrix, it will come two. Okay. Then, from the first one, it will come two, and from the second one, it will come three. Okay. From the first one, then it will come three. And from the second one, it will come one. Okay, so this is actually what the one one position entry of the product matrix will be. So it is two plus six plus three. It is two plus six, eight plus three, eleven. I hope you guys have understood it. How to do this, and it is the way of doing everything. Okay, so this one will be eleven at this point. So this will finally be. Yeah, let, it, let me write it in green color. Now the second position. Second position. I am not doing in a detail, in detail, but I am doing this way. One into four. Four. Two into nine. Thirty-six. Three into five plus fifteen. Then one into seven. As the 
job of one column is done we shall right next proceed to the next column okay so 1 into 7 7 2 into 8 16 3 into 6 18 next comes the second row see we have done with the first row of the first matrix see here because this matrix the, uh, sorry this row has worked with first column second column third column all of them so remain so we don't have anything to do here so we should move to the second row and for the second row this is my second row i shall multiply with this then this and this then okay so this one will be here 4 into 2 so 4 into 2 8 plus 5 into 3 15 plus 6 into 1 6 okay for well, same question 6 into 4 in, 4 into 4 16 5 into 9 45 6 into 5 30 plus then the third question 28 plus 40 68 68 and then 36 so it will be 104 okay now all the work of second row is done so we should move to the third row okay and in third row 7 8 9 is here so 7 into 2 14 8 into 3 24 so 38 38 plus 9 47 so here it completes so it is not actually completed we shall uh, have to perform two more multiplications here this one with that and this one with that okay then the multiplication will be completed but this is actually the process of doing matrix multiplication it will become a little bit messier when it will be 4 cross 4 matrix it will become a little bit easier when it will become 2 cross 2 matrix okay and in class 11 and uh, in class 12 level you should you guys uh, i don't think that you shall get anything higher than 3 cross 3 matrix okay so this was matrix multiplication the mechanical way of doing it now in the very next topic i shall tell you a few cautions and few or even say few rules for matrix multiplication now also one thing when we shall multiply matrices their row of the first matrix should be equal to the column of the second matrix okay before you know just taking this in mind as a rule we we can go for some demonstration okay let us have a that is a one cross two matrix sorry one cross two matrix then b is another matrix one uh, sorry two cross three matrix okay now let us check what will happen see here it is one row and two columns it means one two let it be when matrix and b matrix b uh, it is it has two rows and three columns so 2, 3, 4, 1, 5, 6. Okay. 2 rows, 3 columns. Let us multiply them. Okay. So when we are multiplying, what will happen? 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 1, 3. So 2, 2 plus, sorry, just a moment. 1 into 2, 2 and 2 into 1, 2. So 4 in the first position. 4. 1 into 3, 3. 2 into 5, 10. So 30. 1 into 4, 4 2 into 6 2 so 16 so here see the matrix 1 cross 2 and 2 cross 3 these matrices are get multiplied and they are giving 1 cross 3 ordered matrix so actually what is happening when you can say that these two are vanishing and the rest of the uh, orders are coming here Actually, uh, this is the thing that uh, these two should be equal here. And what will happen if these two are not equal? I'm showing you. I can show it just by a little bit of modification. See here, it is uh, 1 plus 2 matrix. And let it be 3 plus 3 matrix by taking uh, 1, 1, 1. Let it be 1, 1, 1. So now what will happen here? Just see. Just observe what will happen. 1, 2, 2. Plus 2, 1, 2. But what will happen to this one? No row element of the first matrix is left to multiply to be multiplied with this one. Therefore, we are deficient of elements here. That's why this matrix multiplication isn't even possible. So if we had here some another element 1b, 
So it was 1 cross 3, then this 3 and 3 are equal. Then we could have done it. 2, 2, 4, 1. That's fine. Then we could have done it. But this is not possible for the case which we were considering. So therefore, the, consider, the condition for matrix multiplication is the number of rows of the first matrix should be equal to number of rows of the second matrix. Okay? Okay? Thanks for watching the video. Uh, this, was, this was matrix multiplication 1. And